What to do if a meteor strikes your home? Step 1. Remove your family from the house. Step 2. Wait outside for at least 30 minutes. Watch for fire. We are not liars. The moon is coming soon. You are going to die. Nuclear weaponry has been employed to destroy the insurgency. This is your last chance to gain the mercy of your deity. Ignore the rings. The United Nations has gone too far. This is nuclear genocide. The gallery shown on screen is a list of United Nations bigwigs that are on the Survivor Association's hit list. Approach with extreme caution. These people are stocked with bodyguards. Stay tuned for updates at the top of the hour, every hour. This alert has been issued by the Authority of the Survivors Association of Wales, and further the Survivors Association of the Globe. The United Nations has nuked New York City, London, Melbourne, Beijing, Tokyo, and Buenos Aires. This attack has brought the world economy to a halt. The United Nations has also firebombed power stations across the globe. Power may temporarily remain unavailable in rural areas. The rings of the earth are unraveling and falling to earth. The Survivors Association is establishing a bunker to ride out the bombardment of earth in Longyearbyen, Svalbard. Being candid, it is unlikely most people will make it to Svalbard. We have established seven refugee camps in Europe, Bonn, Germany, Glasgow, Scotland, Hammerfest, Norway, Adirna, Turkey, Vilnius, Lithuania, Kharkiv, Ukraine, and Lisbon, Portugal. This broadcast will repeat until we have more information. Hello. Hello. Cardiff. Hello Wrexham. Glad we still have communication. Is coastal travel to Svalbard an option? The north isn't safe right now. No, the ocean has receded a lot. I don't know how much. Alright. We need to go north then. We should head towards London. Yes, good plan. We will rendezvous in Oxford. Our signal is about to go out. Wish you luck, Cardiff. <laughs> Our most profound greetings from His Majesty's New World Order. Do not trust the United Nations, British Government, or the Survivors Association. All travel to Glasgow is suspended and will be enforced by our new government. We are Britannia. All citizens of Britannia are to make their way to London for the coronation of the new king. Foreigners are to make their way to Kent. All who do not comply will be executed on site. Do not go to Kent for any reason. The New World Order is using the city to commit genocide against non-Brits. If you are in Kent, flee east via the newly receded Doggerland Valley. If you are in London, flee north as fast as possible. The New World Order's army is coming to the city from Cornwall, after a successful conquest of the final remnants of the British government.
If you are outside of the two cities, flee north at a pace that fits the needs of your party. Emergency flight from Glasgow to the survival facility in Svalbard has begun, and will continue for about a month. You will be allowed transport regardless of all factors, including if you have identification or not. If you encounter leaders of, supporters of, soldiers of, or any other affiliates of a new world order, run from them and do not attempt to engage. This is the last broadcast of the Survivors Association of the Globe. Any further broadcast will be issued by a local troop. Be skeptical of all information broadcasted. Do not go to any location mentioned by a broadcast except Glasgow. Good luck, and stay safe. Wrexham, if you are hearing this broadcast, then we are already dead. Some strange force with, are to say the least technology attacked us. They are not the New World Order. One prisoner of war has claimed that their leader is in Chelsea, apparently. They have information on why all of this moon has happened. I am terribly sorry I have to say goodbye this way. Boss, we found this guy who was acting weird. He had some bodyguards, we shot them, and then he started rambling about how the world was doomed. And how we stopped him from fixing it, he's all yours. Good job. Ella, you were one of our most valuable assets. Now, you. Tell me your name. My name? Isn't what you want out of me, I know it. Just tell me your name. Fine, my name is Apollo Damien. I am the founder and chief executive officer of Minerva Technologies. What is Minerva Technologies? Minerva Technologies, lots of history, we develop weaponry, astronomic instruments, and most importantly, a way to bring balance to the planet. What do you mean by a way to bring balance to the planet? An engine, an engine capable of moving celestial objects. We developed it as a safeguard in case an asteroid were to hit Earth, but we used it for other reasons. Go on. When I was a child, my family was very poor. My father left when I was two, and my mother died in a stabbing. I took up the mantle as breadwinner and- Get to the point. I don't have all day. The new world order will be here soon. All right. I hated seeing all of the rich people in London doing, well, rich people stuff. So, I saved up all the money I could and opened a store. I used the money from this store to get more ambitious and eventually worked my way to where I am now. So you used the engine on the moon. I saw the world turning rotten, climate change, wealth and justice, and all the other issues that make this planet terrible. I thought, if I use the engine on the moon and launch it towards Earth, most people would die. Society would restart and all our issues will be fixed. Then the United Nations came. They took advantage of this situation, trying to kill us all off so they could have their own world. I don't need to hear anything more, Apollo. Your plan has caused continents to flood and billions to perish. I ask to be spared. No, Apollo. I believe in forgiveness, but not for you. There is a special place in the depths of hell for you. Apollo, I hope you burn in hell for all of eternity. This is the final call for airborne transportation between Glasgow and Svalbard. The flights will be carried out by Wrexham Units pilots. You do not need identification to get on one of these flights.